can get into the gold industry at a very um, low capital cost and, and operating cost and, and you can actually potentially do quite well. Then you go all the way up to the, the big end of town. And this is a, an overhead picture of, of one of the largest gold mines in Australia. Um, it's at, uh, located in Kalgoorlie in Western Australia and, and you can actually see the city of Kalgoorlie to the left and you've got the super pit to the right. Now this is big operations. Uh, and, and all things in between exist in terms of open pit. This is a, another large operation. This one is in, in PNG. And this uh, has particular challenges because it's actually in an active geothermal area. So you can see the steam issuing from the open pit there in the pictures. So the, the mine operators are, are having to manage very hot conditions. There is steam coming up out of the rocks. It, it really does have some interesting challenges and, and from a safety perspective as well as just an operational perspective. And that's a pretty well because that's still potentially an, an active you know, volcanic area. We also have uh, underground gold mining and uh, lots of underground, lots of gold is being produced from underground mines. Um, and you can just see the general picture there. In terms of uh, processing, gold <coughs> comes, as I said earlier, with a particular, um, it comes as a, a natural or native metal, but it can also come as a, what we would call in the industry refractory gold, where it's mixed with other things or it's embedded in other elements. And so when it comes to processing gold, you've got a couple of different options. If it's in its native form, you can use a, some form of gravity concentration because as I said earlier, gold is dense, it's heavy, and it separates easily from other less dense and heavy minerals. So you can use gravity processes to separate it. A lot of people around the world are still using amalgamation processes. It's not very environmentally friendly. Um, and where you're, you're um, crushing and grinding the rocks and you're adding mercury and the mercury picks up the gold. Right? So and that's what we call amalgamation there. It said most modern operations would not be using amalgamation, but it is being used by a lot of artisan type mining operations around the world. If your gold is what we call refractory, then you have to spend a little bit more time and expense. It gets more complicated to process the gold. And we have you know, different processes there, flotation, where you might be roasting, you might be bio-oxidizing, you might be pressure oxidizing, you might be doing, um, there's uh, various techniques around there which are extracting the gold from the, the material that the gold is, is embedded in. Uh, and then you generally will leach it and, and extract the gold out of it. So ultimately you'll end up with a gold concentrate uh, from that. If you can do it through the gravity concentration process, much, much cheaper, much, much easier, a lot less hassle than, than if it's a refractory gold type deposit. And a typical process that you might see is that uh, the rocks would come from the mine, they'd be crushed, they'd be go through a ball mill or a, a, some sort of milling, They'd then go through a gravity concentration circuit. Um, then they'd be often they're, 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 the gold is dissolved in cyanide uh, and then reconstituted after that into gold dore or pulled in various other things and then you dispose of the tailings. So it, it can be a very, very straightforward process, but it can also be quite a complicated process. And some of the equipment that you'll see, you know, you'll have crushes, you'll have grinders, you'll have uh, various gravity separation of gear, and that's not a particularly good particular um, flow diagram, but this is more what you would see in, in some of the concentration or the gravity process. And the top right hand picture is a table, a shaking table, and you should be able to see that on the top right hand side of those tables there's a brown colour, and that, uh, that vibrating table is separating the light minerals from the heavy minerals. So in this instance, the gold should be moving down the bottom and should come out the end, which I'm just going to show you here. So the gold should come off this end and everything else should come off that end because that's all the light material that you're going to throw away. So it's just various forms of mechanical process. The left-hand picture is a spiral. They're, they're mechanical processes that are used using differences in density to separate 
using gravity separation processes. And ultimately, you will produce some sort of uh, Doré, what we call Doré, which can contain anything from 50 to 80 or 90 percent uh, gold, and the rest might be silver and other impurities, which you, you then sell. So that's the product. 